Hey, what's happening guys? We are back looking again at the El Tipo Plastic Roboto Arm. And something has come up in my quest to, how should I put this, Arduino eyes, this robot arm. You see, we've already gone through how we can hook it up to um, a dual H-bridge chip like the L293D to control it from the Arduino, and that's fine. That can control direction. And by pulsing the enable pin with a, a PWM signal, we can also control the speed. But the one thing we're lacking is any awareness as to where the motors are. For instance, see we're moving this motor here, which rotates this arm. Now, if we think of this pointer stick here as an angle, let's put this up in like a 90, de 90 degree position here for a second. Okay, so if we call this the 90 degree position and we rotate it like that, so now, pardon my big arms, between here and here, we have an angle of about 30 degrees. And we have no way of knowing that. So what we need is a way of figuring out that angle so that we can determine the complete travel of these motors. See, we're back to 90 degrees. I mean, there's about 45 degrees in the opposite direction. So we need a way to figure this out. And uh, one of the ways that I think we can do that is with a potentiometer. So let's go over real quick the, the function of the potentiometer and then we'll look at how we can implement it into this project. Okay, Pot uh, potentiometer, variable voltage divider real quick. Here we have our power supply bringing in five volts the outer legs of the potentiometer hooked across it. The middle leg is the variable wiper. And here you can see the voltage. Potentiometer is in the middle of its travel. We see about 2.5 volts. We can turn it one way. We get all the way up to five volts. We turn it down the other way. We get all the way down to zero. So by turning and adjusting this knob, you can see how we can adjust the voltage. So what happens when we hook that up to an Arduino? All right, so now the potentiometer is hooked up to an Arduino Uno, and I've got the display set here. So if we swing up here and look at the screen, we still have our potentiometer changing voltage. So there it is all the way down at the bottom. Let's rotate down here and look at it on the screen. And you can see we have zero. And if we turn it up to just about halfway, be about 512. That's close enough for government work. And we go back up here, you see there's our two and a half volts out of five. And it has turned it into a digital value. And if we turn it all the way up, there's the full value of 1023. There's our five volts. So now we can take the voltage displayed by the potentiometer and turn it into a digital value that the Arduino can read. So when the motor swings all the way in one direction, we will get a zero reading. And when it swings all the way in the other direction, we'll get a 1023 reading. And when it gets right about in the middle, we'll get a reading of about 512. So by that thing rotating, we can tell the position of the motor. And that brings us to the audience participation part of our program today. I need your help. How am I going to mount potentiometers here, here, 
here. I'm not going to worry too much about the claw. So there are two ways I can see to go about doing this. I can somehow mount the potentiometer right here because it needs it needs to be you know in the center of the rotation and then maybe 3d print a little bracket to hold it here or I can mount it you know something like this and then maybe 3d print something to come down here and mount you know to the uh, the rotational axis because what has to happen is one part of this has to stay still let's say we go with the uh, the knob so let's mount the knob here and then you know say we mount the potentiometer here and then we do the same thing here because the way we can do it, I think this is the best way, but that's why I'm asking for your help here. So we mount the knob here, 3D print a little bracket here, because if you watch, when I move this motor, you see this stays still, this moves. So the knob will rotate here, and we need to lock this into position here so tell me what you think in the comments down below give the old guy some help um, and then we will move on from there that's all I've got for you today hope it's enough if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down I'm just thinkificating here so that's it like I said uh, big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to all you guys for watching. Uh, I'm out. Peace.